And we back. What's happening, y'all? It's Vach Lombardi, a.k.a. John Wick Jr. I'm here with another Cowboy Film Session. Not a film session session. Um, It's more so I wanted to give my thoughts and just kind of show a little bit of film as we get there. I wanted to take a look at Dak Prescott's incompletions because, um, you know, looking back at the loss or whatnot, people will often point fingers in one direction like, hey, this is the problem, this is the problem, this is the problem. And I think it's a combination of things, right? It's a combination of, you know, in the run game, blocking up front, we couldn't uh, we couldn't get that going earlier. You know, you want to talk about uh, coaching. Hey, Vach never criticized coaching. That's not facts. But, um, and you know, talking about coaching, I think we got away from the run too soon you know i think uh we were just starting to run the ball successfully and we uh we uh got away from it. i think that's the thing plus in the passing game i actually got some numbers here let me hit the pause button on some numbers here um we got under throws good coverage uh line of scrimmage and then we got drops right so one two four eight so we got eight passes that were under thrown uh, five passes that were just flat out good coverage. One pass got batted down at the line of scrimmage. And as far as drops, uh, we got Gallup with two drops, Witt with one, Cooper with one, and Cobb with one. All right? And we'll just kind of run this film, and if I see something interesting, I'll stop it. Um, and we'll just go along there. So... <clears throat> You know, man. You know, you know. Should we should we put this one thing on Dak Prescott? That was pretty good coverage right there. Uh, should we put this 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 one loss on 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 Dak or or on the run game or on Amari Cooper? Because there seem to be people that think that way. I don't. I don't think that's the that's the right course of action to 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 go with. I think this is a total team loss, and it just is what it is on that. Somebody hit me on one of these machines. I don't know if it was my comment section comment section machine. Said so that five times fast. Or if it was the Twitter machine, I don't know who hit me up and said it, but they was like, yo, Vach, how do you feel about Cowboy fans saying Dax not elite? Like, I don't really care. <laughs> like, that's, the, you know, that that was, uh, that you know, that's, that's up to the that's in the eyes of the beholder you know what i mean like like whether you think Dak is the lead or not that that really doesn't matter it ain't even the the conversation to be had like he like to be fair you're i don't think you're elite until your consensus elite <clears throat> somebody write that down somewhere hey man that would be on the test man y'all y'all y'all, y'all mark that quote down that quote hey i don't think you're truly elite until your consensus elite you know what I mean? And regardless of, of if somebody think Dak is or if somebody think Dak is not, um, that's not really the, you know, it doesn't really matter, you know? And we're not making excuses for Dak, but, you know, he, you know, he's got the little broke situation in his index joint and he's coming off a little shoulder situation and he hadn't really thrown the ball all week. Is that an excuse? No, Jason wouldn't drop right here. Um, is that an excuse? No, but People have asked the question. That just seems to be my answer for it. You know, I don't think Dak just rolled about the bed and said, "Hey, I'm I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw crappy today." I almost cussed. I don't think I'm. A, I, I just wanna I just wanna throw a gang of incompletions. I don't I don't I don't think Dak woke up and said that. You know, what I mean, I, I still think Dak is a really good quarterback. I just think Dak didn't practice all week. I think Dak's shoulder may you know may still have some limitations behind it. Dak still got that hairline fracture in his index finger, which is very important to to throwing the football. So um, is that me making 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 an excuse? No, that's not me making an excuse. That's a high pass right there to Blake um, or Dalton. I be forgetting what their numbers are. My bad. Um, is that me making an excuse for, for, uh, for why we lost? No, that's absolutely not what I'm doing. However, you know, somebody say, hey, Vach, is Dak terrible now? No, I just think these things happen. Hey, Vach, is Cooper terrible now? No, nah, I just think plantar fasciitis, two knees, an ankle. And a and a quad injury kind of adds up on you, you know what I mean? Um, you know, you know, is 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 Zeke terrible now? Nah, we 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 just couldn't get proper, um, you know, proper blocking up front. There's our drop from Cooper there. We just didn't get great great blocking up front. So I think that that just combines. It just combines and it just, you know, turns into a big crap sandwich. Uh, you know, also, you know, did 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 uh play calling put us in the best situation in the world? No, nah, absolutely not. But it is what it is though, uh, my guy and my girl. So 
Um, let's see what happens here. What happens here? And, and this is this is the Dak Prescott incompletion um, highlight reel or whatever. That's um, Cobb dropping his. The uh, Prescott incompletion reel. Uh, I know there were some others that were caught that were like not the best place passes in the world or whatever, but uh, they're not going to show up on the incompletion reel because they're completions. You know what I mean? Um, but that's just that, though. Uh, I just wanted to put this out to the people. And, and, I, and you know what? To be fair... To be fair, like I know in YouTube world, I'm supposed to ask as an overthrow. In YouTube world, I'm supposed to ask for y'all's thoughts and comments and all that. I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of weary. <laughs> I kind of don't know what I want to do here because a part of me would love to know what you think, but there's also a part of me that I have no interest <laughs> in hearing from Riff Raff Cowboy fans right about now. You know what I mean? Um, so it's a it's a mixed bag. So I mean, you know, this is a uh this is a free country or whatever. You know, you have a constitutional right to say what the hell you want to say. So sure. Um go tell me what you what you feel in the comment section so I can get a good, you know, get a good vibe of like where you at. But I'm not gonna agree with you if you just up and say Dak Prescott is terrible now. And I'm not gonna agree with you if you think Cooper's bad and that we can just this is one I had trouble with here because it was a high one for Dak, but I feel like Coop could have put two hands up, try to catch it, but it was still a high one. I don't know. That's that's that one there. Um What was I just saying? What was I just saying? What was I just saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm 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 not I'm not trying to hear people say things like, hey, we should we should cut the 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 one notion that got me the most is let's cut coop and draft somebody. No, 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 wait. I saw somebody say this. I saw somebody say this. They was like, hey, Vot, should we cut Coop, sign A B, and draft a receiver? Huh? <laughs> what what in tarnation? What I, what the for what? Why would you do something as as backwards as that? Why would you do something as backwards as that? Now, if you want to hear my Cooper argument, I dropped a Cooper video yesterday. That's great coverage right there. Um, if you want to hear my Cooper argument, you can um, uh, watch my Cooper video that I dropped yesterday, and you can get my Amari Cooper argument. But um, I guess this would just be me trying to talk people off a of ledge here. I had another I had another uh, issue with this one here. This is uh, the ball's kind of high, but it kind of hit Cobb in the hands. But um, I counted this as an overthrow and not as a drop for Cobb. It you know I think he could have caught it, but you know that's not that's not that's not fair to put on Cobb right there. Um, every time I get off on one of these uh, on on one of these look at these play type of deals, I forget what I was saying before, and it frustrates the hell out of me. So I apologize, y'all, if I'm saying the same thing three times. But that's just where I'm at. Um, yes, the Cooper A B thing, right? Somebody was like, "Yo, Vi, should we let go of Cooper and get A B and draft a receiver?" Well, um, as as we know, if if you look at draft history, it's hard to find a number one receiver in the draft. You know, it's hard to draft a guy and develop him into a number one into a number one receiver. So I don't think that's the best idea in the world. I don't think Coop just fell off the earth one day. I don't think Dak just fell off the earth. And you know what? If you look at it. You know what I'm saying? If you look at it, think about uh think about the Saints that one year when they had the best offense in the world three years in a row, but they went like six and ten, like three times in a row, or whatever they went, seven and nine. Somebody do the research and help me out with that. Um, but the Saints had the best offense in the league three years in a row, and they went seven and something, something, something. Right? But these hidden yards, man, you know, when you when you when you gotta drive so many yards, you know, it it, it it gets a little wonky for you. And it comes down to my draft strategy. Hey, if y'all are fans of draft and off-season draft stuff, I am normally draft guy. Uh, I was draft guy before I was cowboy guy. So tune in and, you know, get your, you know, your draft fix because I'll be breaking that down, um, you know, breaking that down all uh, all off-season. So check that out. But um, it's hard to find these guys, man. It's, 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 it's hard to, 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 to call yourself drafting a receiver. Yes, what I was saying. Um with the with the whole Saints thing or whatever. The Saints were great those those three years, but they really didn't hit the promised land until they invested in their defense, like for real, for real, for real. And, you know, as Cowboy fans, we may have over evaluated some of these guys. You know, Cheeto gave us a good year. That's why I like to do the three year evaluation plan. Right. I don't like to push guys off a bridge and I really don't like to anoint people un until I have three years of, of film and evaluation on you, you know, and we saw a pretty good 
um, freshman campaign from Cheeto, and we was ready to put him in that spot. You know what I mean? Um, we should kind of hang tight on that. You know, a lot of people were were ready to push Byron Jones off a bridge, and Byron been the best corner we had. People don't even throw to his side for real, for real. Um, I think that's a real thing. You know what I mean? Um, uh, Demarcus Lawrence didn't really get good until his until his third year. You know, uh, people kind of up and down on how they feel about Jalen right now. <sighs> Hey, he's played two years for real, for real, for real. Give him another year to play, then we'll figure this thing out. Uh, yes, Jalen has been on his team. Jalen's been hurt, but I'm talking about like like Jalen for real, playing, you know, to his best ability or whatever. Like we 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 got to get three proper years to really evaluate uh, where these guys are. Then we'll cross that bridge. Um, you know, we'll just cross that bridge whenever we get there. But um, you know, guys like Xavier Woods or whatever. I like Xavier Woods, but could that be a a product of could it be a product of hey we need help at safety but he's as good as we got right now because that's how i feel about jeff heath you know what i mean jeff heath is good people say he's trash i don't think he's trash but he's a product of as good as we can get right now you know what i mean plus he's not as terrible as people say that he is you know so my notion is are we over evaluating players and to that point uh we should take the proper measures and getting players in here to, you know, you know, fill those spots or fill those voids or whatever. You know what I mean? But those are my thoughts, man. These are the, I, these are really like two think pieces I, I've dropped the past two days just with, you know, film kind of in the background or whatever, doing this thing. Um, and y'all can replay this thing on mute if you want to, just to kind of watch Dax incompletions and you can kind of count for yourself if you want to. Hey, it's, it's y'all's business, whatever y'all want to do. But, um, that's all I got to say, man. Uh, salute to my Patreon people. We're going to be doing Patreon giveaways every month, so y'all go sign up for that. Um, every patron will be in that um, in that giveaway uh, that giveaway deal, so go sign up for that. I'm getting some new T-shirt designs, man, but boy, when the Cowboys lose, I don't even know if I can sell T-shirts like that. You know what I mean? But uh, we'll figure it out, and we'll cross that road. And uh, what else was I going to say to y'all? Follow me on Twitter, V-O-C-H-L-O-N-B-A-R-D-I, and my Instagram is going to get back popping real soon. So, I mean, it's kind of cool now. I'm just kind of putting stuff up there now. So follow me on Instagram as well, V-O-C-H-L-O-N-B-A-R-D-I. Y'all hold it down for the doski woes. The peace whiskey is free. It's in a basket next to the door. It's complimentary. It comes with it. So just get you one on the way out. All right. Peace. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a fire stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the cord, man. After canceling my cable, I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through channelsforcheap.com. Some people pay $200 plus a month. I paid $120 a year, or you can go $15 a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get 2,500 HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV Guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is this multi-screen feature, so if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time. That you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Stick, Smart TVs, Tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven-day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. If you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com. Hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels4cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. Let's do it. The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that's subscribing to my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.